It's Tuesday, and we are going to go over some tech. So what we are going to be doing today is mounting some 40 inch, 40 inch Nitto trail grapplers on a set of fuel off-road Zephyr bead locks. So I'm going to show you how to mount some tires to some bead lock wheels. Um, this is kind of how we do it. Uh, works for us. It's not the only way to do it by far. It's like anything. There's a million ways to skin a cat. And this is the way we do it. And no, we don't skin cats. So don't freak out. First basic step. Um, some tires are directional or have two different sides. Um, these Nitto Trail Grapplers, I believe under 40 inches, they actually have two different sidewall patterns. I've noticed with the 40 inch Nittos, they don't, the um, pattern's the same side to side. Um, double check the sidewall um, before you go throwing them in there. So what you would do is roll your tire over your blanket, cardboard, whatever you got, kind of throw it down what we like to do is take whatever lubricant you're using and apply a pretty liberal amount around the tire so when you go actually put the rim through, it goes in. It's gonna be tough, but it'll go in. So that's step one. Also, and I've done this so many times, <laughs> make sure you put your valve stem in the wheel before you put it in your tire. Otherwise, you're gonna be fighting with it and having to take it out or fish that valve stem uh, through the wheel um, after you already got it in there. So I'm gonna take a quick pause and I'm gonna go put my valve stems in my wheels, finish building up the rest of my wheels and we'll come back and we'll start mounting some of these. All right, I'm gonna show you how I get this giant wheel or this regular size wheel from this giant tire. Uh, got our fluid film, it's what we use to lube up the tire. Take this and kind of Give it a nice little coat around. Now take this wheel. We got the side we wanted facing out, sitting down. We take this tire, this wheel rather. Can't take it. What I do is pick it up, throw it in. It just goes right in. It's that simple. Now you're gonna roll the tire over and get the wheel and tire over this bucket. Now what you got, nice little platform, basically holding the wheel and tire. All right, so now that we have the wheel and tire on the bucket and we got everything lined up, you need to make sure that the wheel is indexed correctly, the actual tire is indexed correctly around the wheel. On these wheels, there's a little basically inset that it sits around and you wanna make sure that this tire is nice and evenly gapped around here. If it's not, then you'll have a leak. Um, that's why I, before when I mentioned, make sure you have no extra casting flash or anything like that around the wheel, because if you do, you're gonna have one crazy time trying to get this to line up and seat. Uh, if it's not seat, sometimes we'll use a little rubber mallet and just kind of knock it around to try to get that to sit in there. It shouldn't take too much effort to get it in there, but obviously the bigger the tires, the thicker the side wheel, well, the tougher time you're gonna have. This being a 40, you know, a little bit tougher than, than, than say a 35 or 37, but not that big of a deal. So the next step's gonna be, you're gonna get your B-lock ring. And what I like to do is take a little bit of that fluid film and just spray a little bit around here. And the reason why I do that is as the B-lock ring gets tightened down, it will kind of glide down nicer if you don't i mean you could do it without it it's just it helps in seating the bead lock ring down evenly it just kind of loops it up a little bit helps it slide down so take your bead lock ring line it up to where it's got to go line the bolt holes up and then with the actual hardware this takes allen uh allen head bolts um, which is kind of nice we like to use uh, Loctite, um, Loctite, <laughs> yeah, don't use Loctite, <laughs> anti-seize. And the reason why we use anti-seize uh, B-lock wheels, um, it'll be just straight threads into the aluminum. 
and especially if you're using a steel bolt they'll seize up because of the dissimilar metal so this will help with that also um, like these wheels where it uses a threaded steel insert it just makes sure if there's any kind of corrosion or anything like that it's easy to get these bolts out it makes life so much simpler uh, when you use the uh, anti-seize so put a little bit of anti-seize on it just enough to get you by you don't want to look like the tin man when you're done i mean this stuff gets everywhere so yeah just put a little bit on there and line each one up uh, as you go and just kind of get them started and then we'll go to the next step i'm going to get going on that and we'll come back when i get those all in i'm going to give you a little insider tip as you can see i got all the bolts inside the beadlock ring sometimes that is pretty difficult to do one because most of the hardware they give you on these beadlock wheels tend to be just short enough that you can't catch any threads to get the beadlock ring to line up and suck down on the wheel one because the, the, the bolts are just the hardware they give you is fairly short that's basically just long enough to do what it needs to do so what i typically do is most of the wheels i run they use these allen uh, socket bolts so as you can see on four of these corners, I got a little button head bolt in four corners. And the reason why I did that is I usually keep these in stock. It's a three eighths uh, button head bolt. What that allows me to do is run a real much longer bolt into four corners to start sucking down that beadlock ring so I can fit the rest of the shorter hardware in and get everything seated and lined up. And then once I run those, uh, the rest of the hardware down on the beadlock ring, then I can pull the four mismatched bolts out and put the correct hardware in. Um, just a little trick that I've learned over the years, installing these beadlock wheels on tires. It, you know, a little trick that helps. So now that we got beadlock ring all lined up, you got all the bolts in there. Now you know the little secret trick to get this beadlock ring seated down and your hardware actually fit. Um, now basically all there is to do is to go around and torque all your hardware down. Now every wheel has a different torque spec. On average what I find, and it's like anything, I always refer back to the manufacturer of the wheel that you're using. Most of these aluminum beadlock wheels with the 3 8 hardware and the steel insert most of the time it's 25 foot pounds i'd check definitely check your uh, manufacturer to see you know everybody's different from wheel manufacturer to wheel manufacturer so yeah so what you want to do is you go and torque the uh basically go through and torque every single bolt i like to go in a crisscross pattern so what i'll do is i'll go and i'll torque this one then go across torque that one it's kind of the same way when you're torquing down the wheels on your the lug nuts on your tire so go down after you get done and you torque all all on this wheel, it's 32 bolts, I'd go around a couple more times and torque them again. The reason why I say that, as you torque it down, what I find is as the wheel settles down, the ring seats kind of loosens up or kind of frees up some of the other bolts. So kind of go around a couple times and torque them around. And what I'll do is I'll go around and around and around and torque it until I find that, you know, I'm not getting a bolt that's not to torque spec. So I'll do that a couple times. And once I go through the one la you know, that one last time and every single one was consistently torqued to the right specs, then you're done. Uh, then at that point, all there is to do is put air in the tire and you're done. And I was just about to go set the bead on this tire, which is pretty basic. All you do is put air to the tire. You'll see the sidewall come out. It will hop over the setting uh, bead on the back of the rim. Presto change oh, your wheels mounted. And I started rolling this tire out to the back of my shop where I normally work when I'm not doing YouTube videos. And I'm like, wait a second, I didn't put any beads in these tires. You guys might have been thinking to yourself, Steve, how are you balancing these tires? I'll tell you how I balance these tires. Typically what we do is we go out and we buy airsoft BBs. Buy them out you know, whatever, Walmart, whatever sporting goods store, you can buy them on Amazon, you get them in these fancy little containers. And the great thing about these Airsoft BBs is um, they're fairly cheap. And the reason why we use these is, how many times have you been wheeling? And if you're using exterior weights or using those sticking weights, those things get knocked off all the time. And as your tires wear weird, 
it's no longer in balance. So we use these uh, airsoft beads. They work extremely well. Um, that's all I run in all the trucks that we build here. We use nothing but airsoft beads. Um, typically on like a 37 inch tall tire, like 12 ounces, 10, 12 ounces, 40 inch tall tire. Um, I'll typically run like a 15 ounces. Um, every tire and wheel combo is slightly different. Um, you know, you can go online. There's a million different charts out there that you can check. It'll tell you how many ounces of these airsoft beads you need to put in your tire. Um, basically to balance them out. And it's, it's super simple. You put them in a cup or whatever container, you weigh that container, and then you dump them in the back. Make sure you do it before you set the bead. I almost set the bead on this and I would have been bumming because I would have had to depop the bead or undo the bead and start all over. So thankfully, I didn't put these in yet. I can just put them in through the back of the tire and you're good to go. That's how you balance these things. See, that's what happens. You make YouTube videos, you, you forget stuff. So don't do that. All right, have fun. That's how you set a bead lock wheels. That's how you mount them. That's how you, this is how you balance them. Yeah, have fun.